Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to take a look at creating a film noir kind of look, kind of like old black and white and basically a little bit of a Sin City inspired uh, goodness. And so as you can see here, we have a model. Uh, this is from Wild in the Streets. Uh, this is uh, Death Row Games. Uh, we're going to use golden carbon black with a Patriot 105 uh, airbrush. We're going to be uh, spraying it around 20 PSI and basically uh, the primer that is on the model is uh, Vallejo Gray and that was spray uh, sprayed with the airbrush as well. And as you can see here, we're very quickly here, we're going to lay down the black. Uh, I like these particular colors, uh, especially with models with really fine details like this, like like these models, Infinity, and things of like that, these really kind of really thin, thin, high pigment kind of paints. Uh, essentially because, you know, they're not, you don't really run the risk too badly of obscuring any kind of details or anything like that. Next, we're going to add some titanium white in a roughly 2 to 1 mix ratio, 2 black to 1 white. We're going to use a little bit of airbrush extender for this, and basically we're going to do a bit of a Xenophil type of uh, highlighting scheme here. Basically, we're going to build up a gray gradient on this model as, uh, again, we're going for more grays and just a little bit of subtle blacks here and there. But otherwise, you can see how the model now is starting to look, uh, you know, a little bit uh, slick, but that's fine because, again, the paint is really, really thin. Uh, next, we're going to add a little bit more titanium white uh, to a 1 to 2 mix ratio, 1 black to 2 white, giving us more of a predominantly white uh, or light gray uh, color scheme. Uh, if you're using Citadel colors, uh, it's a bit more like uh, Administratum gray or even a little bit like Dawnstone and the initial mixture was more like Eschen gray kind of thing. And so then finally next is going to be titanium white all on its own. Uh, again, this is the golden high flow colors. Uh, these are the airbrush colors that Golden produced. Uh, I, I really like them uh, as they are, again, as I mentioned, they're a very thin bodied color. And again, they don't really, uh, you don't really run the risk of obscuring any details, especially on models with really shallow details like these. And you can see again with that white it was applied in a zenithal fashion, just concentrate mostly on the top. And then I just hit just the boots just ever so slightly. Next, we're going to come in with my fist in red. We're going to thin it out ever so slightly. Uh, I initially had colored in the lips as well as the tongue. The model is sticking her tongue out. Uh, I initially had done the tongue, but or, uh, the lips as well, but I didn't really like the look. And so I went back and recorrected up some of the face. I also lightened up the face, lightened up some other details like the fingers and such and the skull. Uh, picked out some of those details. Here you can see we're coming in with Eschen Gray and I'm pushing some of those shadows back. Again, I've turned the Eschen Gray into a bit of a glaze consistency so I can just ever so slightly push the color back, create a little bit more uh, contrast on that face just so it doesn't feel too pale or anything like that. Next is White Scar. Again, uh, we're just going to glaze this up just a little bit more and just push some of those highlights and uh, really kind of bring more attention to the face as it were. Again, you know, you can imagine too, the, the uh, model might have more makeup on the face as well. So it's not too much of a stretch that the face kind of looks a little discolored. And again, it really kind of draws the eye. Next is Null Oil. And this is going to be applied uh, on the dress itself and the boots. And again, this is to take the clothing down a bit as uh, the highlights are feeling, feeling fairly uniform across the entire model. But now with the with the boots and the, and the dress uh, with a bit more of a black quality to them, uh, it feels a bit more of a natural. Again, we're get, getting more and more, um, you know, a film noir kind of look here, where it's not just simply putting a, a, a appreciate a zenithal type of look on the model. Uh, it also, you know, you push the blacks and the gray, create a bit more contrast. We've got even more painted tutorials in the Civil Mini Wargaming Vault. You can watch another one today about how I finish off the base of this model and, and complete the film noir kind of look. Uh, just click on the link below and for, sign up for a free seven day trial. You make sure that you sign up for the silver membership so that you get instant access to over a thousand painted tutorials already in our vault. And so thank you for watching and happy wargaming.